Good evening, YouTubers. Good afternoon. Good morning, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for tuning in to um, Granny's Vids. And I'm going to do another little quick video of the launch um, scan gauge. Mr. Elsway, I hear what you're saying, buddy. Um, I don't like to bore people with videos, so I'll just try to cut things down a bit. But you want me to video a whole lot? I'll cover I'll video everything for you, okay? So here goes. This is for you, Mr. Elsway. Anyway, this is the scan gauge um, launch. Uh, press the start key. I better turn the ignition on the car first of all. There we go, ignition is on. Now the first page you go to GAG or GAG, GD scan. Now this um, scan gauge is a really good tool. It can basically give you readings from all over the car, anything electronical stuff to electric doors, windows, airbags. You can reprogram the ECU apparently, but I'm not going to do that because I wouldn't have a clue what I was doing. Press start. Um, so yeah, um, go to the Chrysler car. This can do all sorts of cars. Fiat, Peugeot. This is the Chrysler one, just here. So I've got a Chrysler 3.3 litre engine, petrol. Um, Chrysler version 25.05, that's me. Okay, yep, yeah, that's all I want. Okay. Right, so now it's what it's doing now is resetting the, um, the, 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 the scan gauge's memory at the moment so it can prepare itself to accept itself uh, with the ECU of my car. Um, where was I now? Yeah, so with the HHR going to inject in my car, I'm focusing on some main issues. O2 sensor output, map sensor, uh, knock sensor, um, bat temp engine temperature. Um, so that's the main things I'm going to be looking at when I put the HHO in the car. The reason I look at the knock sensor is because um, the knock sensor is like a looks a, bit, uh, looks a bit like a spark plug, and what that does, oh, there we go, that just um, detects knocks in the engine, such as like timing is out if it's pre-ignition or detonation. And what it does is the knock sensor would send a, a signal, a voltage to the ECU and tell the ECU to adjust the timing. So that's one thing, no, here we go now. I'll need to have, I think, non canvas uh, I want to go to engine power control module. Ah, so, so does that. Um, so yeah, well, I'll put the actual HHO in the engine. I, I should get a reading on the knock sensor, as in like, uh, it should show a voltage. Normally a knock sensor would show no voltage at all to the ECU because if there's no knocks, there's no problems with the ignition, therefore it should be a, a straight line on the graph. <coughs> Just updating now at the moment, it takes a while by the way guys, so bear with me. Um, the, the O2 output, now with HHO, I've, I've done a lot of reading research, it's not the HHO that makes the actual oxygen levels higher, it's the fact that you're doing a complete burn and something to do with the carbohydrates uh, in the engine that makes the, the O2 sensor see these extra oxygen from the extra burn. So uh, that's that. Um, the map sensor obviously is to enhance it, to take off a few volts, um, to, to lean the engine out. Got to be careful because if you lean it out too much, you'll um, burn the valves and you'll burn the crowns of the pistons as well. Um, I'm going to develop a, a map sensor actually, which is going to be a bit more than just a standard one. I'm going to do it so it actually cuts off any um, enhance, enhancements over a certain voltage. So. If uh, it reads a certain voltage, it will. Um, hold on a second. It will um, basically go back to stock levels. Uh, I'll go into that in another video. Actually, I've got an idea in my head about that anyway. So, like I say, these things take time to get themselves initialized with the engine. Um, come on, come on, come on. Anyway, whilst we're waiting for that, um, I've got a friend who deals with solar panels, and he's got one I can actually buy. Now, this is a second. ECU information, data stream is what you want by the way. Um, yeah, here we go, look, right, let's go engine coolant. I want to also look at knock sensor volts, okay. The page down. Oh no, I want to have not volts, I want to have temperature. Uh, page down. We've got map, vac map vacuum, don't really want to have that. I want, well actually we'll have the volts on that. All these other ones. F closed loop. I suppose it tells you if it's in open loop or closed loop actually, so I'd have to look at that one as well. What else do we want to look at? Um, my function lamp. Also, you can actually reset any DTCs in your in your um, ECU as well with this thing. Uh, you can see all these things here. You might know more about me, these things than me. 
uh, parametric pressure, I don't want that. Um, Spark Advance, that might be interesting to look at. I'm going to select that as well. What else are we going to have a look at? Um, we want to get to the O2 sensors, don't we? So, um, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, map vaults. Yeah, we'll have a look at the map vaults. We'll have that as well. Um, right, there we go. One of one O2 sensor. That's the upstream, and that's the downstream one. I want to look at the upstream. Um, oh, so this is the O2 sensor level as well. Let's look at that one as well. So what I'm doing, I'm selecting what I want to sort of look at really when I'm looking at the, when this is running off the car. Um, you've also got ignition off fuel level, current fuel, front fuel level as well. Now that is probably in. Uh, let's look at that as well. Um, right, so let's just start the car up. Okay, and we'll go to uh, OK. So here we have. I've just took the car for run just now, by the way, just down the down the shops. I was a bit lazy. Now knock sensor. Um, here, graphic one. This is what I should be getting. This straight line, okay. There should be no abruptions in that. Now, if there is, it means you've got timing out. So what it does, it's telling the ECU to um, set the timing right. Okay, so that's good reading for me. That's what I want to see. So I rev the engine a little bit. No change in volts. What it is, the, the this it's got like some sort of crystal in the sensor, and that picks up vibrations. The vibrations generate a voltage, which then send it to the ECU. ECU reads the voltage and then does the adjustments. Right, let's go back out of that. Uh, right. Now I'll come back into this again now. Bugger. Um, right, engine coolant temperature, not sensor volts. Uh, what else I want? I've got to go for this again now. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Spark advance, I want to look at that as well, didn't I? Fuel level sensor, no, 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 no. Sorry about this, guys, I just um, went back too far. I've got to put this in again. Set, I'll just put, pick up all the things I want to look at, really. Um, and your map vaults, I want that. Uh, injector, oh, that's quite interesting. Right, I want that one there, and I want that one there. Is there anything else I've missed? I think there is. Closed loop, try bank. Okay. Right, let's just look at what we got here. So, engine coolant in Fahrenheit and centigrade. Okay. So I'm showing it's. Uh, it comes back in again. 113 centigrade or 171 Fahrenheit. Knock sensor, zero volts. Spark advance, 21.5. I don't know what that figure means, so I need to look at that. Map volts 1.2. If I put a foot down, you can see that uh, that will um, change. I, I do it. I do it on a uh, 1.8. There's no load in the engine. There's a load. Let's see. Um, we got O2 level sensors levels. Let's go to the graphic. Knock sensor graphic two. This shows the um, O2 sensor output, as you can see, and the knock sensor. There, let's go back to digital for readers again. Now, I think it only gives you graphics on the top two that you select. So, what I should do next time is I should go back into I'll put the um, map vaults. So I, want to, so I want to see what the map vaults are as a um, bloody thing. It's changing too quickly for me. Yeah, so I can't get the map vaults at the moment, but. Um, yeah, so you can see that the O2 sensor's gone up and down, up and down, um, swimmingly. From um, 0 volts to 800 millivolts. Let's go back and see what else we can choose from, shall we? Because I think um, Mr. Elsewhere asked about the miles per gallon. I have been through this briefly, but I don't think I've seen miles per gallon yet. What I want to do, you see, I want to know how many litres I'm using, like, over a period of time. Um, let's see what down the list there. This is, I'm going down the whole list of stuff you can do. 
And if you want to pause the video to watch, see what there is on the on the, on the um, listing here, and you want to text, give me an email, or send a, a message on the uh, on the, the, the on this video, if you want to see a certain readout of a certain thing on this list, let me know, and I will uh, do it for you. Um, current fuel level. Let's have a look at that one. Current fuel level. So that's telling you. Ah, oh, that's that's really cool. It's telling you. In uh, liters and gallons, how much is in my car? That is really interesting because with that you can actually um, do a really good HHO test with that. That is really handy. Excellent. I'm glad I got that one. Brilliant. So if I was to start off the testing, and I know I've got 26.97 liters, I want to use one liter on a trip. That's brilliant. Cool. Let's go back and see what else there is, what other goodies we've got under this. Oh, it always starts at the top of the bloody page. Um, like some of this stuff in there, I don't I ain't got a clue what it means. I've never, I've never looked into it, but uh, there is loads of different calculations, readouts. Um, I mean, you can even disable and, and, and enable airbags with this thing. Apparently if you go to the garage and you, and you want a baby seat in the front seat and you want to disable the airbag, you've got to pay £100 and it takes about two minutes on these things. So to reinstall the um, the airbag for example, it costs another £100, that would be £200 spent just to actually enable and disable the uh... so that's the bottom one there. That's it. So that's basically you see all that stuff you just went through. Overall crank retard. What that means? Not sense of volts. We never that one already. We've seen that one. Okay, this is um, signing off now. It's been on for 12 minutes video now. I hope this keeps you happy, everybody. Um, if you want to see me using some of these features that I haven't used yet, let me know, and I'll do my best to uh, show you how the readouts work. Take care, now, everybody. I'll speak to you soon.